Hello, I'm Divya and I'm with Apogee Google Cloud. Welcome to the Edge Analytics module of the Apogee Troubleshooting Series. In this module, we're going to talk about custom reports, how to create them, and demonstrate some of the use cases or issues where custom reports have been helpful in troubleshooting common API runtime issues. In this introduction to custom reports video, we are going to talk about what are custom reports, how to create them, and what are the various components that comprises a custom report. Custom reports give you a way to view API analytics data that you are interested in. It enables you to get the data that you would like to see. There are a lot of dimensions that you can choose from to get the exact data that you would want to know about your API traffic, clients, developers, errors, etc. An example of how you could make use of a custom report is to get a list of all client IP addresses that are hitting your APIs. To create a custom report, you would need to click on the Analyze menu icon on Edge UI, click on Reports, and then click on the plus custom report icon at the top right to create one. Now let's take a look at what comprises a custom report. Custom reports provide both chart and table views. The metrics field filters the traffic based on the API metric being specified. For example, the target errors metric will give you the number of error responses caused by the target, that is the customer backend. To know more about the other metrics and the definitions, please visit docs.apogee.com. Please note that after API calls are made to proxies, it takes about 12 minutes for the data to appear in dashboards, custom reports, and management API calls. Dimensions or drill downs let you view metrics in meaningful groupings. For example, it's much easier to see the stats for the total traffic count for each developer app or API proxy. This gives you insight into which app or proxy is getting the most or least traffic. You can see that there are common and advanced dimensions. These are the ones that are provided out of the box, and a description of each dimension is mentioned on docs.apogee.com. You can also create your own dimension that is metric grouping by using the statistics collector policy in your proxy. More details on this policy and its usage can be found on docs.apogee.com. Dimensions created through the statistics collector policy would come under the section custom. Filters let you limit the result to metrics with specific conditions. For example, if you would want to limit the total traffic counts to certain proxies, then you could put a filter mentioning the proxies that you would like to see in the report. Now this is how a custom report would look like. One can select the date range for which you would want to view the data. The dimensions are displayed right below the date range. For this report, there are two dimensions defined, which are developer app and response status code. The metrics field is plotted on the graph. One thing to note here is to make sure you select the right environment for which you would like to see the metrics. The summary section for this report shows the amount of traffic that each response code amounts to. More information on custom reports and the related topics can be found in the links mentioned in this slide. The links are also mentioned in the video description section for your easy reference. If you would like to know more about the use cases that custom reports helps to solve, please watch our other videos in the same module. Please do share, like, and comment if you find this video helpful. Thank you.